I do have the latest from the National Hurricane Center, and now they've upped the uh, chances of some development over the next 48 hours, up to about 50% just out of the National Hurricane Center. Still go 80% over the next five days. They're thinking that area of low pressure, which is now down towards the Florida Panhandle, will come into the Gulf of Mexico sometime later today, and then we could see some development maybe late Wednesday into Thursday. That's what they're still looking at. So uh, still a good chance of some development as we go through the next uh, few days into the next five days, especially through the northern Gulf of Mexico. Right now, as we take a look across northeastern parts of uh, the Gulf of Mexico, there is a flare up of some showers and thunderstorms, but nothing organized. Uh, we'll continue to watch it. Like I said, that trough of low pressure just now making its way down into the Gulf will be there. Looks like maybe later on today. Here's the latest com computer models. Now, once again, you kind of take this with a grain of salt because the information going into these is not the best uh, because there's no center of circulation. There's nothing good information to really put in these. Uh, one thing that we are noticing for today, though, it's a little bit of a nice trend we like to see, is that everything has shifted off a little bit more uh, towards the east as far as the scenario, as far as maybe uh, a track. Now, once again, this could shift back to the west later today, back to the east tomorrow, back and forth. That's typical when you really don't have good information going into these computer models. But right now, the majority of them have it more over southern Louisiana than southeast Texas, as you can see. Take it with a grain of salt, like I said. At least it's good news for the short term, I guess. As you take a look outside right now, fairly quiet across uh, the entire Gulf of Mexico, except for some of those showers and thunderstorms over the northeast. Across the state of Texas, uh, fairly quiet. This morning, uh, just a few clouds out there. Here's the view from our 12 News studio. This camera is sponsored by How Furniture, which is part of the uh, live Skycam network and uh, looks like I-10 pretty nice and quiet for this morning. Temperatures generally into the 70s, 68 in Jasper, 83 in Sabine Pass, everybody else middle 70s. Woodville over towards uh, Kirbyville, Orange at about 76. Also Silsby's at 76. 78 in Beaumont, also Port Arthur at a nice warm muggy 78 degrees. Our forecast today calling for a heat advisory. Now what does that mean? Basically means the feels like temperature or the heat index 105 to 109. That could cause some problems if you're going to be out working and playing and you don't take breaks and you don't stay hydrated. You could get heat exhaustion, heat stroke. So be careful out in the heat today. Highs will be there into the middle 90s. Once again, you add that humidity, it'll feel like maybe 10 to 15 degrees hotter for this afternoon if you're going to be out in the sun. So be ready for that. And then warm and muggy tonight. Temperatures back down into the middle to upper 70s. As we look at our seven-day forecast, we'll increase rain chances starting tomorrow going through Friday. Over the weekend, looks like that will be our best bet for seeing some heavy rainfall and maybe some tropical conditions as far as maybe tropical force storm winds, which is basically anything from 39 above. Is That's when we start to see tropical storm force is 39 and above. Of course, when you get to 74, that's hurricane. Right. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're going to have a hurricane over southeast Texas this weekend, but I will tell you the potential is there from anything from a tropical depression to a hurricane over southeast Texas this weekend. Be prepared. Water, mm -hmm. batteries. Uh, food that you don't need to cook, things like that that you need if you're going to be without power maybe for a couple of days or so. Once again, I will also tell you this is not going to be Harvey. We're not going to have 60 inches of rain. Uh, we might see some flooding. We are expecting 5 to 10 inches of rain possible if something comes overhead or come, something comes close. So if you live in one of those flood-prone areas, potential for maybe some flooding if we see something overhead was pretty good for this weekend. Not going to be as widespread as Harvey, of course, but we could see some localized stuff. And maybe some wind. And wind, like I said, uh, depends on uh, how strong the system gets. Uh, we could see winds uh, potentially up to uh, tropical storm force, which is about 39. And if it becomes a hurricane, of course, wind gust over 70 miles an hour. But we'll have to wait and see. It's way too early yes. to figure out you know, where it's going to go and how strong it's going to be. Uh, we just don't have that information yet. We really need to get an area of the circulation out in the Gulf of Mexico to make some of those determinations. And we don't have that today. We won't have that probably for another day or two. And I will say this, watch Facebook as well because there's also fake accounts out there that hype up the situation and people believe that and share it. So yeah. if it's not coming from Jeff or Patrick, mm -hmm. you know, just watch what well, you're sharing because it scares people. Or the Hurricane Center or Correct. the National Weather Service. Um, get good information. Don't get some guy who's, you know, sitting in his den saying, oh, look at this. I've look seen it already. Yeah. People sharing things from yeah. just fake accounts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They believe it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, look for good information. Um, if you see one thing, research. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go to the National Weather Service and find out other information. Don't just take one person's uh, take on it. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for 
all of us, you know, go out and get some more information. There's plenty of it on the internet, but make sure it's from reputable sources. Reputable yeah, sources. Absolutely. Yeah. Now we will continue this com or conversation on Facebook Live. So if you have some questions, that's a great place to post them. We'll try to get some of those answered for you coming up in the break. And we have your birthdays coming up next. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Thanks for waking up with us. Yeah, we are yeah. watching uh, the tropics this morning. Um, it's hurricane season. We say it all the time, and um, you're probably tired of hearing about it. <laughs> Get prepared, but it's so very important to be prepared no matter what. You know, yeah. we hope we never see another hurricane in southeast Texas, but you just never know. Yeah, even if it's a tropical storm, right? Right. So Jeff has been tracking it, and a lot of people have questions. Um, so feel free right now to post those questions because we are on Facebook Live looking at your comments even as we speak. And uh, Jeff, Chris says, can you repeat everything? So there <laughs> And I've been, trying to do that. That. I've been trying to do that over and over again this morning, uh, just kind of repeat everything that we know right now. And be very honest with you, there's not a lot we know right now because... Uh, nothing's formed and we really have to have something to develop to really give a good idea of where it's going to go and as far as intensity even when you have something develop uh, it's hard to forecast the intensity uh, the hurricane center folks will tell you that that's the hardest part of their job not tracking it and, and telling you where it's going to make landfall or which direction it's going to go but the intensity of the storm is always very difficult to figure out so um, right now we'll let you know that they're whopped there most likely will be development in the Gulf of Mexico, whether that's going to be a tropical depression. All the way up to hurricane, it's a big question mark. Uh, right now, it looks like it's going to be drifting west, maybe up into parts of southern Louisiana or maybe even southeast Texas. Uh, that's a big question mark as well. Uh, some of the computer models want to take it towards us, some towards Louisiana. Uh, it's been shifting back and forth from east to west, and it's going to continue to do that until we get some good information to go into some of those forecasting models. Right. Um, one thing I heard from a meteorologist back way back, and I think it's a good thing to say, is these computer models are a tool to make forecasts. Mm -hmm. They are not the forecast, but it's a tool to make forecasts, and I really think that's a good saying. It's something we use, like you would use a, a tape measure to build a house or something like that. It's a tool to make the overall forecast. Yeah, Absolutely. and your graphic there said uh, formation within the next 48 hours. So as somebody asking here about driving on Interstate 10 across Louisiana tomorrow, that should be fine, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, no problems going across Louisiana tomorrow. Uh, the time to really start to worry about things as far as driving maybe east will be starting uh, late Thursday and then going through the, the first half of the weekend. Mm -hmm. All right, and it could potentially continue through the entire weekend. Right. Yes, if something develops and comes our way, it's probably going to be a Saturday, maybe even a Sunday deal where we're dealing with some rain and some gusty winds. All right. Yeah. We're back on air in just a moment. Continue to post your questions. We'll take them again in our next break. 